Hi guys, welcome to Good Housekeeping Stitch Club. I'm Mariana. Every episode, we're going to be showing you how to make a new knit or crochet project from beginning to end. So today we're going to be knitting a garter stitch scarf. And if you've never knit before, this is the perfect, perfect project for you. It's one simple stitch. I'm gonna be showing you how to make it from beginning to end. It's so, so simple, perfect for beginners. So for this project, you're going to need four balls of yarn. Um, I'm using Patton's Norse, which is a really beautiful soft yarn, um, a pair of eight millimeter knitting needles, and a pair of snips or scissors, and that's it. You can check out the link below to order our kit that we made in collaboration with Yarn Inspirations, where you can pick out the colors that you'd like to use for your own scarf. So when you're shopping for yarn and you're picking out a yarn for a separate project or you're trying to figure out what size knitting needle to use, you can flip over your yarn and there's a little guide uh, on the label that will show you exactly what size knitting needle or crochet hook to use. Uh, this yarn recommends an eight millimeter US 11 needle and the needles will say either go by US number or you can read it by millimeter. And again, you can order our kit and it takes all the guesswork out of it because it comes with the needles that are needed to make this exact project. So to start this project, we're going to first make a slip knot. And to do that, you make a loop with your yarn and then pull through the tail to make a loop. Then you'll insert one of your needles and tighten it just slightly. You don't want it to be too tight. It should have a little give. So once you have the slip knot on your needle, you're going to want to make sure that your working yarn, the yarn that's coming from your ball, is on the left-hand side, and that the tail end of your yarn is on the right-hand side. And you want to hold this away so that you don't accidentally cast on with your tail and you're using your working yarn. So to cast on, this is called the backward loop method, and it is the simplest way I know to cast on. You're just going to loop around your thumb, take your needle from left to right underneath and loop onto your needle. Again, it's you're gonna loop around your thumb, take the needle underneath from left to right and create a loop on the needle. Making sure that there's a little bit of give there. You don't want it too tight. So you're gonna loop around your thumb, insert the needle from left to right and create a loop on your needle. Loop around your thumb Take your needle from left to right to create a loop on your needle with a little bit of give. For this project, we're going to cast on 40 stitches. So there's so many methods for casting on and everybody has their favorite method. Um, there's more involved ways to cast on that you might wanna use when you're ribbing or working in a different pattern or with a different type of yarn but this is a really, really simple way to cast on that's perfect for beginners and it works for a variety of different projects. Um, I usually use this method and it always comes out very pretty and clean and it's perfect for our garter stitch scarf. If you wanna learn some of these different ways to cast on, check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. I would say if you're a new knitter and you're nervous about making mistakes, really don't be I, I rip out stitches all the time. It's really part of learning and don't think of it as a setback, but really just a learning experience. And every, every time you make a mistake, you learn something new. So, okay, now I have to count 40. I'm always careful when I count because I've gotten burned so many times. <laughs> okay, so now we have 40 stitches on our needle. So we're going to start knitting. And just a reminder, you're going to wanna to make these stitches a little bit loose. Um, you're not gonna want them too tight because you're gonna to have to be able to slip your other needle underneath each loop. Uh, it may look small right now, but trust me, once you take this off your needle, you'll see that it does expand. So don't be thrown off by the size here. It'll be about 15 inches wide. So to start your first row of knit stitches, you're going to insert your knitting needle 
from left to right under the first loop. Then take your yarn from your ball of yarn and you're looping it over your needle from left to right and then pulling that yarn through to make a loop on your right hand needle. Then slide off your stitch and you have your first knit stitch on your right hand needle. So again, you're gonna insert your right hand needle under the loop on your left needle from left to right and then loop your working yarn from left to right over top your needle, pull through to create a loop on your right hand needle and pull off. This knit stitch is the only stitch you need to know for this scarf. You're going to be working the knit stitch the entire time. The knit stitch is really the foundations of all knitting, so this is the perfect beginner, beginner project for you to learn. So now you've completed your first row of knit stitches and all your stitches are on your right hand needle. So at this point, you're going to switch hands, move the loaded needle to your left hand, and we're going to continue on in knit stitch. So exactly how we created the first row, we'll work the second row. So insert your needle from left to right under that first loop, yarn over from left to right on your right hand needle, pull through to create a loop on your right hand needle and ease off the stitch from your left needle. Again, you're gonna insert your needle underneath that first loop, yarn over, pull through and slide off. And you'll just continue with this knit stitch for the rest of your scarf. Just slide your stitches down as you work. This is why you don't want your tension to be too tight. Uh, you wanna be able to slide your needle in fairly easily. So there's a lot of different types of knitting needles that you can buy. I personally like these metal knitting needles um, because the yarn slides off really easily. But wooden knitting needles are really nice and warm. They have a great feel when you're using them. Um, there's also plastic knitting needles and circular knitting needles, all of which are great to try. So now we have about 14 rows on our needle and you can see how it's starting to shape up. Each row is knit in knit stitch and this is when you knit each row, it's called garter stitch. So we've knit about a couple inches in garter stitch and both sides look exactly the same. So it's reversible and just a very easy utilitarian sort of stitch to have in your arsenal. This is all fitting on one needle currently, but you can see how once we take it off the needle, it does stretch. So this is, this is how the fabric will look once it's off the needle. Right now, it's just bunched up to fit on your needle, which is fine. So you're going to continue knitting until this collar is about 24 inches, which is almost an entire ball of yarn. And at that point, you'll switch colors, which I'll show you how to do next. So now we're at the point where I have knit up three sections of our color block scarf, and I'm gonna show you how to change colors. It seems daunting, but it's actually really simple. So we're going to cut your color of yarn that you've been working with, leave a little bit of a tail so that we have room to weave this in when we're done. So we're gonna cut that, and our next color is this gray and you'll just start knitting uh, how you would normally knit. So insert your needle and then loop your yarn over top and pull through. And then for your next stitch, insert your needle and make sure that you're pulling the yarn from your ball of yarn and not the tail end. So pull your working yarn, loop over and pull through. 
and you'll continue knitting in this way. And then it's just that simple, you've changed colors. And if you're worried about tension here, this loop getting a little loose, you can pull it slightly and do a quick knot, just a loose tie with the previous color so that it doesn't slide around or get too loose here. And we'll undo this tie at the end. And you'll just continue working in pattern. Now we've finished our first row in the second color, which you can, are starting to see here. So we'll flip our work around and continue knitting. So now we're ready to finish our color block scarf. And the last step is to cast off. So we will cast off similar to knitting. You'll insert your needle as if to knit, yarn over, knit the first stitch, insert your needle and knit the second stitch, and then you'll pull your first loop, your first stitch, over your second stitch. So now you can see your first stitch is wrapped around the second stitch. And when you're binding off, you really want to have very loose tension so that your project doesn't curl. So again, we'll knit a fairly loose stitch, you can see. Then you'll take your second stitch, pass it over the third stitch, and now you just have the third stitch on your needle. And continue this way to the end of your row. Okay, one last thing. So when you've come to the end of your bind off row, you can see it's nice and neat and straight. You've got one loop left on your needle. So you just break your yarn and pull that yarn through the loop. You can use your needle to help you. and you've finished your color block scarf. The last thing to do is just weave in this last tail. So you'll use a darning needle, which is just a needle that is really dull on the tip and has a big eye that you can fit yarn through. And these come in metal or plastic. and you'll just weave your tail in. You want to follow the lines of the knitting so that it kind of disappears into your knitting. And that's the garter knit scarf. It's super cozy and warm and perfect for this winter season. I hope you'll give it a try.